everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley Lanise and I blend motivation with spirituality so that you can get the best benefit out of it. Today's video is motivation for unblocking your heart chakra. I love chakras and I've done a lot of spiritual healing and by the end of this video, I will give you everything from my heart that will allow you to unblock your heart chakra because honestly, the heart chakra is something that I had blocked for probably a really long time. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first piece of motivation to unblock your heart chakra is use rose quartz, okay? I'm sure you know that rose quartz, which is the crystal that I have right here, is an unblocker of the heart chakra. Using crystals, doing crystal work, using crystal grids, anything like that will help unblock your heart chakra. You can even sleep with a crystal in your bed. If your heart chakra is blocked, sleep with some rose quartz and that will really help you unblock your heart chakra as well. Feeling gratitude is one of the best unblockers of your heart chakra because love and gratitude are so heavily connected. The heart chakra, as you know, is connected to the love vibration and it's connected to all emotions. If you look into the HeartMath Institute, they say that the heart has a magnetic field and it is radiating outward. And so I want to really profoundly speak to you and give you the motivation to unblock your heart chakra because when you unblock your heart chakra, you can have more emotional depth in your life. You can have better and deeper connections in your life. And I understand that your heart might have tons of wounds, your heart might be very cold, it might have been hurt in the past, but I wanna tell you a story about things that are broken because our heart chakra gets blocked when we get hurt by romantic interests, when we have trauma because loved ones have bestowed this upon us. I wanna tell you a story about a broken vase and maybe you already know this story, but one day there was the most beautiful vase ever and it was glistening and it was perfect and it was just gorgeous, right? And then the vase broke and it fell on the ground and it cracked. And it's like, oh my goodness, this vase is broken. It's never going to be the same again. Well, then what happened was somebody, the owner of this vase, or maybe someone else, I'm not quite sure how that goes in the story, but they took the vase and then they put the vase back together and they put gold. They poured gold between the cracks of the vase. And then the vase looked even more beautiful. Beautiful. Of course, the vase isn't the same vase that it was before it broke, but gold was put between the broken pieces and the vase looked even more gorgeous than it did before. So when it comes to a block heart chakra, when it comes to heartbreak, when it comes to feeling like you're going to give up on love and you're going to give up on loving people and being a good person, and if you just have a blocked heart chakra in general, understand that like your heart, I don't know what it's been through, but your heart can heal heal and when it heals, it's going to heal better than before. If you've ever had an injury, like I broke my pelvic bone in 2017 in a car accident in three places, and if you've ever had an injury, what the doctors tell you is it heals back stronger. It's harder to break a bone that has been broken before because of the way that it heals and it mends. And I think about the heart that way in a blocked heart chakra that way. And what I want to tell you is that if you're or heart chakra is blocked, don't think about it as a bad thing necessarily. Think about it as a new way to reach new levels within your heart. Your heart is so infinite. Your heart is connected to the magic of the universe, which is unconditional love and love, which is emotion, which is all of the things that we cannot see. Emotion is energy in motion. There's energy moving all around us. And it is like the number one thing that we don't necessarily really realize is going on in this universe. And so your heart chakra is so powerful. And if you need to hear it, I, because sometimes we need help from others, I today give you permission to open your heart up a little bit more because I'm telling you that when you do it, it's actually not gonna hurt as bad as you think it is. And you're gonna grow from it. Your heart is a muscle. And when it gets hurt, it hurts, but it's like you're going to the gym. Your muscle is getting stronger. Your heart is not getting weaker your heart is getting stronger. Your heart is the most powerful organ in your body. Your heart has been beating since you were formulated 
in your mother's room at a certain stage in development. So thinking about that, your heart is there for you. Your heart is this organ that is there for you that keeps you alive. And I know a lot of people can have a lot of fears centered around their heart, centered around their heart rate, centered around their heartbeat, centered around the sounds of their heartbeat, but your heart loves you. Your heart is this massive organ of wealth and abundance and richness. So if you practice gratitude, even just for a moment, if you do positive affirmations, which I have some on my channel, if you want to check those out, but if you do positive affirmations, if you do meditations where you tap into your heart center, that's going to help you unblock your heart chakra. When you use your crystals, that'll help you unblock your heart chakra. But to bring that motivation into that spirituality, Today, I give you permission because we need it from others sometimes to be accepting of your heart, to take your heart at face value and love your heart. And I just want you to know that it is okay to open your heart chakra again. If no one has told you that, I want to be that echo for you. So I hope that you got a lot out of this video. If you got anything from it, please give it a like so more people can get things out of it. Consider subscribing because I'm about to make a ton of videos on all of the chakras and thank you so much for watching this video all the way until the end and I will see you in the next video.